Brass. Band on the run. Brass. Band on the run. Loyal viewers, ladies and gentlemen, Brass Band on the run. Hashtag New Zealand 2019. The tour continues. I'm joined here by Mr. Tuba. Hello. Mr. Tuba. Gary, how's things? Good. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It's the weekend. So, I love the weekend. Yeah. This is, <laughs> what are you doing for your weekend? Uh, actually, laying a driveway at our house this weekend. So, and, and some practice for nationals next week. Of course. And, and what, do, what do you play? I play the tuba. <laughs> E-flat or B-flat? I play the E-flat tuba. Yeah. Excellent. And you're with Taupo Brass, yeah? Yes, I'm with Taupo Brass, yep. And the band's just recently reformed, renewed, regenerated? Is that what's going on there? Yeah, after about, I think it was about 15 or 20 years, the band wrapped up. Um, and last year we got an enthusiastic guy, Mike Martin, come over to... Mike, hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hi Mike. Um, came over from New Plymouth yeah. um, and decided it would be a good idea to reform the Taupo Brass. Yeah. And it was October last year. Mm -hmm. We got together for the first rehearsal. Yeah. Um, we worked hard and actually did a, a, a f our first play out, first gig for Christmas awesome. at the Salvation Army Centre in Taupo and got quite a nice audience and obviously it was seasonal as well so uh, yeah it's good Awesome and how was it difficult to reform a band that was existing for a while then bringing it back was that tricky or was it everything kind of in place with the right people behind it to get it going again? So uh, Mike did a good job of uh, promoting it through papers and, and yeah. things like the adverts. Um, we got quite a good turnout for the first rehearsal, you know, just come along if you've played before. Um, also, uh, Mike managed to get us some really good sponsorship locally from Jolly Good Fellows. Jolly Good! <laughs> which is great, and um, so they're, they're helping us along. And uh, yeah, the numbers fluctuate, but we're, we're planning another gig um, in about a month's time um, on Sunday, August the 18th um, which is called I think the Winter Warmer and it's going to be at the Salvation Army Centre in um, Kittle Road in Taupo at 3pm. And all of that information is on your Facebook page for, for all the thousands of people yeah. who are going to be coming down to hear the band yeah? Yeah absolutely yeah. Nationals is next week. Yep. What are you doing for Nationals? So the band are really getting ready for a future nationals. Of course. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, but you personally, what what okay, are you? So me personally, yes. I'm I'm actually being I'm getting ready to play in the masters solos. Yes. Uh, on my tuba. <laughs> also in some of the ensembles yep. and obviously there to support our local bands the ones from Fielding and New Plymouth and Tiao Mutu yes, yeah, yeah we're there to support all the all the bands that are going to turn up next week fantastic and personally what was your first nationals gosh my first nationals, first nationals. was in 2004 yes the year we emigrated to um, yes. New Zealand and it was down in Christchurch did you enjoy that contest? I did, and uh, I've been going to nationals ever since, so it's been brilliant. Yeah. And how do you find the brass band scene here in New Zealand, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a different structure to um, uh, how things were in the UK, yeah, and I played from being a very small tot yeah. um, in the UK. Um, it's, it's great in terms of being organised, North Island, South Island, we get a chance to visit places, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a definite enthusiasm for brass bands in New Zealand, which is great. It's awesome. And I believe, I don't know if you've heard this, but I believe there are some people who were so enthused by what they were seeing with New Zealand banding all the way from America. We have the Chicago Brass Band coming out for the Nationals. They'll be competing in the A grade. I think they're just touching down today or sometime very soon. Oh, yeah. So people all over the world are very keen to be part of this New Zealand yeah. band scene. That's great. I'm pretty yeah. excited to meet yeah. them. It's going to be going to be really fun. Yeah. yeah, I hope they enjoy it too and, and see a bit of New Zealand while they're over here. I think they'll have a yeah. few days. We'll, we'll find out. Yeah. How did you start playing the tuba? What happened there? Was it a conscious decision? Did someone just give it to you? Do you remember when that was? I do remember very clearly when it was. <laughs> so I've always been interested in music and around about the age of 10 or 11, I wanted to learn to play the trombone because I loved Glenn Miller music. Yes, so um, I got to pick up a trombone at school, started having trombone lessons, and then the music department bought a tuba and they said, we need somebody big to play that instrument, Collins come and play that instrument and I've been on the tuba ever since then so from about the age of 11. Uh, awesome. Yeah so it's cool. And do you remember your first ever brass band rehearsal that you went along to? Yeah pretty much it yeah. was back in the UK yeah. um, again around about the age of 11 um, and it was with the City of Oxford mm -hmm. brass band then um, and there was a, a very mature gentleman who led the learners yeah. and we went along and he taught us all about Very mature. Yeah <laughs> Very mature. Yeah. I was just trying to be politically correct. <laughs> yeah. um, and he taught us the basics about minims and crotchets yeah. and rests, and, and it really went from there. 
Yeah, fantastic. And Taupo Brass, looking for new members still? Absolutely, yeah. We're keen to see anybody who's either played before, would like to play. Um, we're keen to think about giving lessons if you're local to um, Taupo. Um, and no, we're a nice group, a social group. Um, yeah, we're just really keen to see all ages, from youngsters through to um, those that think they finished playing, bring it, dust your instrument off and come along and have a blow with us. Any advice for people watching who might want to be a beginner brass player, might be a little bit more mature than the youngsters coming through, is it ever too old to start playing a brass instrument? Uh, I don't think so. If you've got the enthusiasm um, and uh, you'll get the support from the players in the Taupo Brass, I think you could come along and have a good time and make some music with us. Sounds sensational. I'm keen if I just, it's a bit bit too far for me to come across, but otherwise I'd be there in a heartbeat. Or maybe you could come once a year to rehearsal. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> this time next year, I'll bring, yeah. my, I'll bring my tuba. Yeah, brilliant. That's very good. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for having a chat. Look forward to catching up with you at the contest next week and hearing all about how the new band is going. Yeah. Brilliant. And thanks for your time. It's been excellent. Loyal viewers, keep watching. We'll be back soon. Mm -hmm.